This video will cover how to take like your planting layer of data that you've recorded in your Cirrus and run a planting report off of that. So if I come here to my 20 planting and load that up, I actually use the soil types, the variable rate here, what you see on the screen for this company and this crop and so on around the field. So what can I do to get that on a report, especially this information right here? and how many bags that I'll actually need out there on the field. Well, and if I scroll that over to the right, it picks the next soil type. You'll notice the seed rate population goes up on each one, all the way up to 36,000 on that higher yielding soil type that I have out there. So I'm going to hit the back button in the top left, come down here to the plus sign in the bottom, and I'm going to go to the reports in the bottom right. And here I'm going to go to the planting recommendation down at the very bottom. When you select the planting recommendation report, you'll come in here, and I've already got corn, but I'm going to show you how to set this up just the same. So select the crop, you would select your corn, your unit would be seeds per acre, your purchase unit would be, in this case, by the bag, and there's 80,000 seeds per bag. And hit done and save that and now we'll pick our corn to run this report for and then it shows you everything you've got for corn saved currently and I'm going to grab this corn spring 2020 and hit the select button and it generates that report showing you those areas whereas it's different variable rate population based upon the soil type and how many total bags you'll need across that number of acres and I want to point out to also that to planting at the very top has got your consultant name, your phone, your email, contact information, and all of that that you put in the general settings. But that is a planting recommendation report that you can run off of the actual Cirrus planting recommendation report function.